Hey guys, Steph Mistruck with KillerSites.com, KillerPHP.com. In this video blog, I'm going to answer a couple questions that were put to me um, in response to a recent video blog I put up called uh, Choosing Web Design Software. And so I got a comment from this guy named, uh, calls himself Goon245, and uh, Steph is there any advantage to using Dreamweaver or Komodo in an MVC environment? Um, I couldn't say offhand. I believe that, uh, at least I know for sure that Dreamweaver supports a version control systems. Now, a version control system is basically a piece of software that tracks the changes you make to your files, whether it be HTML or PHP files or whatnot. And if you, uh, as you update the system, it keeps track of all the changes. So let's say on July 1st, you have, uh, you know, you have a page, a PHP page with 500 lines of code. And by July 6th, it has 700 lines of code. And then you realize you want to go back to the July 1st version. You just click a button and the version control system will allow you to go back instantly and get that old version of the code. This is all done automatic for you. So it's version control, you know, version of the project control. So it, you know, so Dreamweaver, I believe, supports subversion. I'm just looking at my, my notes here. Um, I'm not sure if Komodo does, to be honest with you. I've never used Komodo. I just looked at it very quickly. It looks good, I'm, and I'm going to do a comparative review, I think, of uh, Komodo versus Dreamweaver and others uh, sometime in the future for people. So yeah, um, is anyone superior in an in, in an MVC environment? I couldn't say. Um, just in case you don't know, MVC is uh, short for Model View Controller, and it's just a way of structuring your web sites or your web applications. And you should only be concerned about Model View Controller if you're really getting into programming, web application, web des design programming, as opposed to building websites with some progr programmatic elements injected in there. So if you're building a site with a simple e-commerce thing that you're dropping in, or maybe you're dropping in some WordPress and maybe some jQuery stuff in there, you don't have to really you know, concern yourself about MVC. Uh, but if you're building something from scratch, you know, then you want to start learning about that. Of course, that's the standard way of building these things these days. And when it comes to a uh, version control, then you're looking at, um, you know, you got a, a several options, GIT, you got subversion, and there are others. Um, yeah, so let's see, let's get to the next question. My next question, uh, they asked about, um, what about uh, Kalidor855, and he's asking, what about Linux and open source software? What are your thoughts uh, about that? Or do you think web design could only work with MS Windows or OS X Apple? I'm thinking Photoshop. Uh, Linux open source is great, it's fine. Um, you know, if you're a tech-oriented type of guy, uh, then you might want to go with Linux because everything is there. You have a lot more control. You can uh, optimize the Linux operating system so it runs really, really fast with your software. Uh, what, are, what do I mean by that? Many years ago, oh, I guess 10 years ago, a good friend of mine was a Linux nut. And what we did is we uh, took an old machine I had that ran Windows pretty slow and we uh, we took Linux, installed it, but we recompiled the Linux kernel. Now the kernel is basically the, the, the heart of the operating system. Think like a kernel of corn, you know? And uh, so he did most of the work because I, I didn't know too much about Linux. So, uh, you know, but we recompiled it so that we stripped out all the excess drivers, all the excess stuff. And we made that installation of Linux specifically for my particular computer, for the CPU, the hardware, the video card, etc. So it ran really fast. So when we recompiled it, it was incredible. It was incredible how much faster the recompiled 
uh, Linux was because we got rid of all the extra junk so the computer just ran super efficiently. It was really cool because it, it just took this old computer which was really uh, becoming too slow and made it very, very fast and uh, it was a lot of fun. The problem with Linux at the time was that you really had to, you know, you had issues with hardware support and limited software support. It's much better today. I haven't, you know, I haven't looked at Linux in years except, you know, we use it on our servers. But I just use it as a, as a user, so I, I don't tinker around in there. I just know basic Linux commands. That said, it's great for web development. I know people who do you know, software development, programming, and so forth, all in Linux. There are Photoshop re replacements, so you don't need... Uh, I, I don't believe Photoshop runs on Linux. But there are, there are other programs like the GIMP, which, uh, you know, runs on Linux. And I'm probably, there might be others, I think perhaps a version of Corel's PhotoPaint. Uh, I think it's still around. That, I believe, is a Linux version. That all said, Photoshop and image editing on the web is much less important than it was just five, six years ago. Yeah, much, much less important. You, you know, Photoshop was a, a major part of the web design process or some photo editing program in the past. Now, it's really, you know, an afterthought. It really is. Um, because of the power of, of uh, CSS and now, you know, HTML5 and CSS3, uh, your use of Photoshop is diminishing every year. And ultimately, you just need something to be able to output clean, crisp, clear PNGs or JPEGs or GIFs, depending on your circumstance, uh, or depending on your need, rather. And that's about it, you know. In the old days, you had to use Photoshop to slice images and place things, and these these do it for image rollovers. All this is really old school stuff that's quickly being replaced. Uh, so yeah, I wouldn't be uh, too concerned about the image editing software uh, because it has a far diminished role in the whole web design process. So there you go. When it, you know, I'll conclude by saying when it comes to web design software, to revisit that, you know, the original question, you know, MVC, Linux, or Windows, Mac OS, a lot of this comes down to taste. It really depends on the individual, how they like to work, what they like to do. I think that designer types are probably going to be much more comfortable on Mac or Windows, especially Mac. Mac has that tradition. And, uh, and then the real tech geeky guys, the guys who really want to get into hardcore code, the MVC guys and the Java guys, Ruby guys, they might be, gravitate more towards Linux because of that that ability to configure the operating system. Although I would argue, you know, since Mac OS is, is actually sits on top of uh, free BSD, which is a, a type of uh, Unix, it's, you know, basically, you know, Linux is a type of Unix, free BSD is a type of Unix. You get much of the control and power uh, of a Unix-based system in Mac OS, but you get the tremendous user friendliness that you have in Mac OS. And since the operating system is, uh, you know, Mac OS will cost you 30 bucks. Of course, you have to run on Mac hardware, which is a little pricier, but it's top of the line stuff. Um, I recommend people go to Mac. You know, I've used Linux, I used Windows for years, and I've been using Mac OS since I guess about 2007. So I'm relatively a newcomer to Mac. And I have to say, uh, once you go Mac, you never go back.